Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Terry and I like to buy stuff and you found Terry Buy Stuff. And today I wanna share with you something really cool I found. This is the world's lightest ultralight travel press for coffee or tea. This is the S Pro. And it's really kind of a unique product because it is the lightest ever. I mean, literally, I can hold it with my pinky. It is so light. But you can take this on the go with you to make coffee or tea. It's double walled insulated, so it keeps hot, hot for a long time and cold, cold. You don't have to just use it for coffee. So let's take this out here so you can kind of see exactly what this looks like. So, oh, there's directions in there. <laughs> okay, so what we have here, double filtered, and it says separate to clean, and you can also, they make filters that you can put on the bottom here. Like if you have cholesterol problems, um, it's pretty cool if, if you wanna like even filter it more, but double filter, handicap, sealed. Literally when this is full, I can turn it, flip it, do everything. It's not gonna leak anywhere. Let's take this off. So it says hot or cold for hours, leak proof, make coffee and tea, impossibly light. You can bring it everywhere. I was doing some research on this and you know what this made me think of? When you got this top on, and I think of this too, when I'm out and about, you know, running around the desert or trying to take photos, just clip this to your backpack. Clip it to your jeans. I mean, it can literally go anywhere. So we're gonna quick make some coffee in here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make coffee. And it's it's a really pretty cup. I have this nice silver um, and I got some hot water cooking over there. So let's get some hot water and try this out. I'm also gonna wash it up. Be right back. Okay guys, so I got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna put in, it said roughly 15 to 22 grams inside. There's a max water line. Oh, look, I actually have a my coffee spoon. So I ground up some fresh Starbucks holiday blend because <laughs> I'm a holiday blend fanatic. Okay, so I just need two in here. Level, one, two, Gosh, should I pour a little more in because I like it strong? I'm just going to put a wee bit in. Just a wee bit. Okay, so there's that. My, my little magic bullet I use to grind coffee. Now what I could do at this point, I could put the plunger in. I could put the top on. I could go to work with the grounds in there on the bottom and pour the hot water from the coffee machine at work where I just get the hot water, not drink the potted coffee. But we're going to go ahead and make a cup today. So... What I have here is my kettle with some hot water. So I'm gonna take my hot water, I'm gonna put it to the fill line, which is right about here. It's hard for uh, even me to see it. You gotta really look in there, but I'm gonna fill it up. That is some hot water. Ooh, you can see that steam. And there, oh, that, that illuminated the max. <laughs> the steam inside. Then I saw where it said max. Take my spoon and stir. And it's thick and getting frothy. So I really want to stir this up good. Make sure I get to the bottom. Oh yeah. What I want to do now, make sure it's stirred. I want to let this steep for four minutes. Okay, so that, that seems pretty stirred. I'll wipe the counter later. <laughs> okay, so let's just pop this in. See, and this is the reason you don't want to overfill it because you don't want the coffee to come heaping out. If you overfill it, you're gonna make a mess. Hey, set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes, and we're starting now. All right, guys, it's been four minutes. Hey, stop. Okay, so now the fun begins where you get to press it down. So I'm going to slowly press. Okay. <laughs> it's, you, can, you can tell it's that vacuum seal. Oh, yeah. This is, I can hear it like bubbling. <laughs> so the reason why 
this works so well is it's 12 times finer than the standard French press with that double basket down at the bottom. So it actually is a very fine, going all the way to the bottom here. It, it, it doesn't go down easy. Like you have to push it. Okay, so I'm all the way at the bottom. Again, that double insulated wall, keeping things hot. So I could just like go to work like, I could just cover this now and have it in the car or wherever. And when I put the top on, look, it's nice on there tight. Look at that, no leaks. Bet you it's gonna make a little noise. No, okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Let's see how it looks. Four minutes. Not bad. And that's just how I take my coffee. Black. I'm going all the way to the bottom here. I don't see any grit or anything. Nice and smooth. I mean, imagine the middle of the day at work and you want your coffee from home. You could just have your coffee ready to go in here in the bottom. Pour it in. Stir it up. Let it steep. And then here you are. So now I'm going to try one of my favorite coffees. Black. That's good. And it tastes just like I like it even uh, just as good or better than my standard French press. Um, this is one of my favorite coffees is the Starbucks Holiday Blend. It's hot. <laughs> it's good though. So this is like a 16 ounce Swiss Army knife of coffee presses. I mean, really, considering you can take it with you, you can go anywhere. So I'm kind of mimicking my sink here. I want to show you a quick, easy way to clean this. Pull, I pull the plunger out, right? And I want you to imagine this is your sink because there's grounds down there and you don't want this going down the sink at work or down the sink in your home. So put a paper towel in the bottom of your sink, take a little bit of water, swoosh it around, and I even have some on here, I think I could take use, ooh, that's hot. So I take a little bit of water and rinse this out. Imagine that being in your, in your sink. See, it rinses right out and that is hot. Ooh. Okay, but to take some water, swoosh it around, and look, clean. A little bit in there, of course, you can rinse in the sink. But then I want you to imagine this is your sink with all the coffee grounds in the bottom there. See that mess? That is what you can pull out of the sink. You can have it in a paper towel and not put all those grounds down your sink or your office's sink. So pretty good stuff, easy to do. Can't say enough, guys, about this. I'm gonna put it back together so you can see it all in one piece. The S Pro Travel Ultra Light Press. Clip it to your bag, go for a hike, take it to work. This thing's awesome. I have a link below in my Amazon store where you can go ahead and purchase this for yourself. They have other models too, but this is really the nice one because it's nice and light. You can do coffee or you can do tea. You can do loose leaf tea. So get it, guys, that, this is perfect. I'm gonna give it, where is it? The Terry Buys Stuff. Big thumbs up for the S Pro Travel Ultra Light French Press. I mean, it's a lot to say but it's a lot of product. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hey, if you're liking me, give me the big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of more shopping fun that happens here on this channel. As always, I appreciate you being here and I love you for it. And until next time, guys, happy sipping on that coffee. Woo, till next time, guys. Bye.